This is Michael Hillman. Welcome to Recording in Progress. And yes, I have changed my studio, but don't worry about that because this video comes in three parts. Part one, the wind. You see, I kind of hate the wind right now. You see, the wind has just always not been the best for me. Let me explain. So the wind, you know, I have a small car. The wind kind of pushes it around a little bit. You get the gist, right? Well, that all changes when you work in the service industry. Because in the service industry, you are changing trash bags. And when you change trash bags outside from time to time, not the biggest part of my job, not the biggest deal normally, except for with the wind. Now, I don't know what speed the wind was flowing at in Pleasanton this morning, but oh my God, did it ruin the rest of my day. You see, no big deal. The manager was like, hey, can you just change the trash bags outside? It'd be a cool, nice thing to do. I was like, yeah, sure, I feel, I'm feeling pretty nice today. So I go outside, right? The trash bag kind of fell in, some garbage pile on top, not a big deal. I reach in, pull the entire garbage can out of its cage enclosure, even though it's the city's job to change the trash bags. The city is the city, so it doesn't really ever change the trash bags. So their responsibility fell into Starbucks, and that fell onto me because I work for Starbucks. Now, this is not Starbucks' official opinion on anything, but oh my gosh, does it suck when you pull the, the lid off of the trash can. That kind of flows everywhere because of the wind. You would think I would catch on because of that's the sign, and no, I didn't catch on until after the fact that, oh my god, this was not the right time, because I go to take out another trash bag so I can push it on top of the trash bin. I flip it over, except for the wind picked up, the trash bag flew off, all the trash flew out of the trash can, and it spilled out. Basically, the entire storefront was just covered in garbage, and because people don't finish their drinks at Starbucks, normally you don't think that's a big deal when you double bag your, your trash bins. You think, oh, now nah, if there's any liquid, the second trash bag will kind of get it if there's ever a tear. But when you don't have a trash bag and it's going straight onto your shoes and on the floor, it just... And I had to pick it out of the, like, shrubbery, the plants and stuff. Oh my gosh, does that ever ruin your day? Because I had to walk back into the store and be like, can I get some help outside? I really need help. And thankfully, you know, I don't work with jerks. I work with really nice people, and one of them came outside to help me, but still, oh my gosh, does it ever suck, and oh my gosh, does it ever ruin the rest of your day, and pretty much the rest of my shift was fine from then on, because I was just doing, like, pretty passive stuff after I picked up the trash and swept it up and poured some hot water on the curb, you know, it would dry up eventually, and it would look basically decent again, but it kind of just ruins your day when you have to pick up all that trash. Anyway, aside from that, the rest of my shift was pretty super calm, and not a lot happened. I tried an eggnog latte, and it tastes pretty good, actually. And I normally don't like eggnog. If you guys are into that, you know, you could buy it. I don't care. I don't get a kickback in any way. I just work for an establishment that happens to provide drinks to people. So aside from all of that, I go to drive home, right? Like, four hours later, four... Oh my gosh, it's like barely not five hours. Anyway, I go to drive home, right? And I get on Stanley Boulevard, right by my work. I'm driving, driving at normal speed, and my car is pulling to one side so extremely that as soon as I turn on to Isabel to get on the freeway, I pull over because there's this little divot in the road, not divot, but like a little pull away area for like a normal sized car. I pull into that, I check all my tires, figuring, yeah, one of them might have blown out, no big deal, I have AAA. My tires are fine, it's the stupid wind that's blowing me around. So I calmly get back into my car, drive like 5 to 10 under the speed limit because apparently the wind's just going to be a dick today. And oh my gosh, does it ever suck. Just the wind, sometimes it super sucks. And you know what? There was not even a lot of overcast. It just looked like normal weather, but with like wind, just out the wazoo. And on the way home, the sun was getting in my eyes because there was traffic. It took me to like 4 to get to like Tracy, and I live in Manteca. And it, it's just getting in my eyes. So I go, I go pull off the exit after Grant Line. And I go into Hot Topper to get sunglasses. And even though I had to backtrack a bit, there was a lot of traffic. So I wasn't really concerned whether it was going to be stopped traffic or stop and go traffic. Makes sense? So I go, I pull off the freeway, go back and exit, get on to Grant Line or whatever. Exit and everything. And I go into Hot Topic, buy a couple pairs of sunglasses. I buy one, buy another one, get one free. Buy two, going free, whatever. And I bring them home, and they look really nice and everything. They all work pretty well. And that was pretty much my day. 
You know that ukulele song? That stupid ukulele anthem, link in the description if you don't know what it is. That thing is going through my head all day long, and I'm just humming it to myself when, like, no one's around me. I'm just like, play the ukulele madly, play the ukulele loudly. Like, that stupid song is going through my head, so I'm probably going to buy a ukulele on Amazon. I'm also going to buy, you know, a screen, per like, a screen, literally. Because, um, like, my camera is kind of busted up, and once you go do a vlog selfie thing, video, it's like two seconds long. It's the intro to this video. I forgot my phone screen was cracked, so it's going to be like a lot of this. Yeah, that helps a little bit. I need to stop in for some sunglasses before I do anything else. You know those kaleidoscopes? It kind of looked like that for a bit, like just for like a second when I was turning on the camera. But yeah, it's like all broken up. The camera itself is fine. It's just the glass on top of the camera that obstructed everything when the sun got in my eyes. I kind of covered it with my hand if you could see in the intro, and it sort of helped, but I mean it kind of sucks. So I'm just going to replace the screen instead of buying another phone. Because the screen's like 30 bucks, and that's super awesome for like a phone that's like two years old, just buying a new screen for it instead of having to replace it. I mean, everything else works pretty well, but like, you know, life happens, <laughs> basically. So that's the third part of the video, my phone screen and stuff. Yeah, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Also, last, last bit, it's not really a part, but this, actually, let me just show you. Um... This is going to be shaky, just warning you. That is a dog that I, we sold a long time ago because my family sells dogs. Yes, it's a French Bulldog. Yes, it was from England. She was adorable and she had a lot of puppies and I hope they're all pretty happy. Even though this is pretty creepy photo because the dog looks like it's crying. Even though my parents love it. They agreed that if I bought another painting for the room, that I could replace this one. So you know what? I'm going to buy the Great Wave of Kinagawa. I mean, I know I'm a basic bitch, but that painting looks kind of cool, and this one's kind of creepy. See you in the next video.